Welcome back to more of Tomodachi Life. Seems that the island is a little bit more lively off the bat than it was last time, so hopefully we can have some interesting and spicy stuff happen this time. Now first and foremost, as is tradition, we have added two Nomis, and that actually included having the apartment upgrade as well as we were running out of rooms. So yeah, we have a few more floors if you were concerned we were ever going to run out. Now, introducing the two Nomis. First and foremost, after I introduced um, my good friend Vague Wyatt, he suggested I add someone who was near and dear to his heart and a true inspiration to him. And who am I to say no to adding Snoop Dogg? So yeah, he, he he's happy. I'm actually quite happy with um, how he ended up turning out. It's pretty cool, all things considered. And then the second one is a character from Genshin. Look, I'm sad. So, um, Sino from Genshin is getting added. Um, I do need to buy him hair dye and, like, core contacts, because he's one-to-one. -one. But once we get that sorted, it should be good. Now, if you're wondering how that leaves our personality chart stacking up, I am pretty sure, oddly enough, Snoop Dogg ended up working his way into like completing the square, so he's an easygoing softy. A born mood maker, the happiness rubs off on everybody, however their bad moods can influence others too. That's pretty good actually. And then I'm pretty sure Sino is down here with Derange. Um, interesting how that's worked out. Um, but I digress. Maybe, just maybe. I'll be proven wrong. Maybe. Just maybe. Deranged has a sliver of good in her, if, you know, that's how Sino's turning out. Now, first and foremost, Snoop Dogg wants to make a friend, and who am I to say no? Who am I to say no to the father of rap? People always find me relaxing to talk to. That is absolutely true, what can I do for you? I don't really know anything about Cupcake. Oh. What do you think about me and Cupcake? If, if the two of you become friends, you are, like, the perfect no, couple. Really interested. We might have to check that out in a little bit. Just, just a tiny bit, it's a, it's a treat. It's a treat, because I'm... That intrigues me, admittedly. Uh, now, um, Wyatt also wants to make a friend, and I mean, we may as well. So, best friend is currently a dadchi. I could never lose interest in you, Vague Wyatt. Who do you want to be friends with? Oh. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think there's actually a tear in my eye from that. Do it. Do it. We haven't had just a straight confession work out well, I don't think. At least one that we didn't, you know, immediately reset the game because of. Okay, they're getting along though. Um, you know, maybe she likes the fact that she's only got like half his clothes on. Um, see, it, it's weird seeing a Wyatt in this situation, and not Mini Candy, who seems to be like you know chronic to doing this. But they're going round. They they still they they are still chatting, and they're at the cafe there, still chatting, and Wyatt's there, completely undetected. You're really really incognito there. This this this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I had fun. Let's go out again sometime. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> and that she got a bitch. <laughs> my little fun works. I hear the wedding bells already, Wyatt. You are yeah, the... I think you were the best friend a dad she could have ever asked for. <gasps> I'm actually out of breath from that. Right, um, a big chesser. Seems like most of the bottom floor are currently out at the moment, but, um... Well, okay. Been so long. I'm so happy you came I'm back. I'm happy I came back, too. What do you need? I'd like a new hat. You know, you haven't had a hat in a hot minute, so I'm happy to give you one. Like, hmm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of feeling that. No, we did say we'd give you the alternate colour of the straw hat, didn't we? <laughs> she she wore the red one for so long, I feel it's only fitting. We now give it her in green. She still likes it, so I mean, we get away with it. Okay. Well, she's she's consent from now. What are you going to give us? Uh, more cold medicine? Okay. Um, our stockpile of that continues to grow without being used once. And Zero's already asleep. Zero, I can't teach you. New boss. You can call me Zero. The less said about that, the better. Margaret Thatcher, what do you require, and why are you conversing with Sans? Please call me Marge T. I feel most comfortable on my own. Uh huh. Yep. Um. Okay. She. 
gets along with Keem star Michael Jackson and finds Sans most enjoyable. That is alarming. I want to sneeze, but I can't. Do I really have to do this? Do I really have to make a dunce of myself again? Fine. If there's one person I reckon I can make sneeze by rubbing this mouse back and forth with enough passion, it's Margaret Thatcher. Let's do it. Okay, come on. I just gotta really get into it, you know, give, it, give myself proper carpal tunnel. Yes! Oh my god. That is the first time I've actually managed to get that on my emulator. Thank you, Margaret Thatcher. Thanks. I won't piss on your grave this month. Okay. I, I'm actually chuffed with that. I've... The less, the less said about that, the better, actually. I'm happy. And, ooh! Now I want to be friends with someone. Well, I mean, who am I to say no to that? But who, who have I not made friends with? It's been so long. I'm so happy you came back. <laughs> who do I want to befriend? Because there's like six people that have been added recently. So who's it going to be? I don't really know anything about Sino. What do you think about me and Sino? Get your ass over there now, good sir. Oh, now I'm really interested. Ah, uh, you should be. Go up. I'll, I'll direct you to the stairs. Go. Go. <laughs> right. And, okay, there's, okay, less games around, too, and Zero isn't dreaming. Well, I reckon we'll play a quick game with Cupcake, who is now happily Let's dating Adachi. Oh, it's so... <laughs> right, fine, we'll play, we'll play. So, catch. Okay, again, another one I've struggled with, but maybe we'll get it today. Okay, let's do it. Oh! Okay, like a millisecond later, Just I would have got that. Okay. okay, I gotta get my, my reactions gotta be on point. Come on. I felt it. I felt that string coming, but I had to click anyway. I'm really going to drop it next time. Okay, I'm staring really intently at this hand. And she's gonna drop it now. Fuck. Okay, that distraction actually worked. I wanted to know what she was gonna say. But I knew she wasn't gonna finish it, but I still was thinking she'd go on and say the whole thing. A oh, roll of toilet paper you had to cry into after losing. Right, well, again, it's early in the night, so we can kind of leave those guys on, like, a, a low simmer to see if anything else comes up. But for now, Welcome. it's time for the circuit. Ooh! Okay, grilled mackerel I'm gonna feed to myself if I get the chance. That shit bangs. And you know, a singular waffle? I'm feeling it. Get another one of them. And cannoli goes down a treat, so... Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day too, Mr. Robot. Now, hats. Again, Big okay. Chesa did ask for once, maybe we got to top up. Ooh, okay, new cake, Baker Boy, and Cloche. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the different flavours of cake, honestly, you know? Kind of get a bit of a cake cult going, match with the Dachi. I give one to Cupcake, potentially, you know? Make a match in a couple. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm vibing with that, actually. Now, I'm going to treat myself to interiors first, because it seems like we've got a decent bit of cash saved up. Can't get the fairy tale castle, but library we already have, and locker room... And then, ooh, could get cartoon and then the reel's a bit expensive. Huh. Yeah, I'm really not feeling any of these, shockingly, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, monochrome, hmm. Monochrome kind of speaks to me. Or at least it speaks to me for, like, a specific type of person. Come back soon. Like, I think, I think Snoop Dogg would actually, you know. I think Snoop Dogg would get some, like, good shit from that. Like, Welcome. possibly. But last and not least, clothing. Big ribbon dress. We've already seen that and we turned it down. Um, leather outfit. What the? That just looks horrible. Why are there that many zips? That maid outfit. Oh, thank God. I was hoping we got more clothes than that. Tartan shirt. Mm, yeah, I'll get a few. And training jacket. And ooh, you can see Big Chesar and um, Smashman in the background there. Fair enough. All right, well, I'm going to buy that blue training jacket because that looks good. And then in terms of maid dress, I mean, the classical just looks the best, but. You know, I'll, I'll get a purple one. I'll get a purple one. As, as a treat. Have a nice day. Don't know who I'll put it in, but you know. I'm sure purple will fit with someone. And does someone that nothing else is going on, so you know what? I'm gonna spy on whoever's at the cafe. Is it just Michael Jackson? It is. Huh. I'm asleep, nonetheless. Um, seems mention of the maid dress summoned him. Right. Uh, well, while we wait for things to get a bit more interesting, <laughs> I will watch Me News featuring Snoop Dogg. So what is it? Have you noticed that everybody is wearing t-shirts with Agony Man's face on them? Can't say I have, no. decided to ask Agony Man himself about how this craze started. I'd like to ask him too. 
What the fuck? I'm a little reluctant to tell the story about the shirt. Uh, but, said, but, but when? I made it as a gift for my friend's birthday. Um, I knew it, everybody wanted one. Who? Who is this friend? We asked some well, what I want to know is, opinions. who is? Who is this weirdo who asks for a shirt with his face on it? Or Thanks for watching. is Agony Man just a really, really big narcissist and thought that whoever's birthday it was would be made perfect by having a shirt with his face on it? Because either of them is funny. But it seems like our answers will remain unanswered for now. And, hmm, still waiting for a few more problems to show up, but... As promised, I'll give a little snoop around some of the people. Again, oh, Mr. Worldwide's gone to sleep, but he is dreaming. Somehow with all these lights and... I'm sorry, his best friend is Agony Man. Wow. Yeah. Fairly trustworthy. God, is that just me or is that getting a bit pink? Mr. Worldwide, is there anything you'd like to tell us? Anyway, what's he dreaming about? Are you ready? Um... Where is this? No, we're ready. Okay, this looks a bit creepy if I'm being honest. Oh, and of course Agony Man's in your dream. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, Although, what the fuck was the deal with that background? Oh. That's not just me, right? That looks like it's on like some Japanese horror DVD cover shit. Was I really dreaming? Oh, I'm sure you wish you weren't. And what the fuck? Mmm, two metal rods. My favorite. How do you know? He's so considerate. And, ooh. Sino, okay. Nothing interesting happening in any of Sino's dreams that we can at least spy on. Anyway, um, Nicki Minaj just seemed to have a fun old time in her apartment. Uh, but I reckon, before Snoop Dogg goes to sleep, na 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 na, you're not having your post-weed nap without me. Um, I'm gonna give you... Yeah, no, I think Monochrome speaks to me best. Something about it just looks like a recording studio where I think, you know, that works. Thanks for the new room. Um, it's certainly unique. Look, how do you not like that? I mean, I know obviously the game may not know who he is, but I, I thought that would go down a lot better than it did. Okay, well, it, it didn't go down. His, his thing didn't go down, so I'll take that. But, um, ooh, Mini Candy now has a friendship bubble. I wonder, is she going to set anyone up with anyone else, or is she actually going to make a friend? I am, yes. What do you want? I heard that Mr. Worldwide wants to be friends. From a who? His personal assistant? He's asleep! But do it. I should go and find them. Let's see if you can usurp Agony Man as his love interest. Uh, uh, see, he woke up for the mini candy. The mini candy befriending. Good to see he's got his priorities in order, honestly. <laughs> These two just look like they get along, you know? We got Mr. Worldwide. Such brilliant songs penned by him, including International Love, Give Me Everything, Timber, and the Mini Candy, internationally renowned artist for the Criminal Damage series and other YouTube shit posts. We became friends because we really hit it off. It's like, it's hard to say who's better, honestly. They both deserve to be in the Louvre. <laughs> anyway, uh, Mini Candy, you know what? I, I don't think I've given you a song yet. I've given you a musical, that's boring. You know, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking heavy metal. Heavy metal speaks to me on a deep and personal level for you. I think you'd really be able to belt some bangers out if and when I get around to writing them. Okay, what is it? It's a music box, okay. Well, hopefully that works out. Um, and ooh, okay. See, we're getting like strung along with these like little requests, but Deranged wants something, and I mean, who am I to disagree with that? Is it gonna be something deranged though? <laughs> yes, that's why you're in prison. <laughs> What should I say when I am worrying about something? Um... She makes it too easy sometimes, you know? <laughs> this is evil, and I might need to explain it, but... Tap the door. <laughs> In case you don't know, tab is British slang for a cigarette. <laughs> she makes it too easy! She really does! But that, that's why we, like, begrudgingly like her. Um, anyway, let's keep, let's keep going around giving some people stuff. So we've already treated Snoop Dogg. Um, Sans, if you're asking for something I can treat you to, I won't complain about that, actually. Come on. What's it gonna be? You're a skeleton, technically. You have no concept of time. What should I say when I feel dumb? Really? Okay, everybody wants phrases today. Fair enough. Okay, I couldn't think of anything good on in character for Sans being sad, because usually he isn't. So I've just gone with the good old classic of... I am sad. And that way, there's no ambiguity. 
thank you for giving me £12 for that. I have no idea at what point you would have thought that was worth that amount of money, but sure. Although, okay, Smash Man is in here with Yurako. Again, we're getting strung on with these requests, but what is it that your heart desires, Smash Man? Like an eternity. Mary mix look like. Are you looking to set someone up or befriend someone? I think that Big Chesa is a really good friend. But what do you um, think about me and Big Chesa? I think the two of you are thick as thieves and should stay that way. That's what I thought. But please don't date each other because at that point... At that point... I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to get involved. Because you can't, you can't steal Steve's one true love like that. Anyway, you enjoy looking at the ceiling. Yuranko's having a dream, but we can't spy on it. God damn it, let, let me view your dreams. I need to know what you're thinking. Right, fine. Um, who, <laughs> mini candy, you creature, what the fuck? She does this a lot, doesn't she? She does this a lot. You okay? You okay, you strange specimen? Oh, okay, now we're just going clockwise instead of anti-clockwise. I see, okay, I'll leave you to it. I'll leave you to it. Okay, Sans has gone to Steve's and Cupcake's gone to Adachi's and... Okay, a few people out and about. Um, I don't know, who should we give something to? Like, a fair few people, especially on the second floor, have had stuff done quite recently, so I don't really want to mess with them. Is there anything one that I think would deserve something on the bottom floor? Okay, Sans again, I'm thinking we wait until he asks. Cupcake, however, possibly, and then Agony Man. Kind of like in his ninja vibe. Honestly, for as much stuff as I've got on hand, I really don't see anyone who's like, what the, oh, are you okay? Uh, okay, I, no, I saw what you were doing with your neck there. Have you been on that special Snoop Dogg stuff? And if so, get me some. But like, hmm, I suppose we'll just, as much as I hate to say, I suppose we'll have to just stick to the top row. Usually I like to give them an episode or so before we give them anything nice, but in this event, I don't think we really have anything to do. Um, anyway, I'm thinking, um, Margaret Thatcher should go in the witch room. Well, I know it says wizard, but you know, nice. it can relate to witches too. Way, like to I'm sure some of you can put I'll two and two together. It. And it's like, I don't really have a witchy sort of outfit for her, unfortunately. I do have a maid dress, though. I do have a maid dress. <sighs> do I do it? Do I put her in a hamster costume? <laughs> Do I put her in the hamster costume or do I put her in the maid dress? <laughs> this is difficult. You know what? Yeah. And, oh, I, I got colors to pick from, goddamn. Like, I'm thinking... No, I'm thinking we give her the bright orange one. Because she is ginger. At least I think she is off the top of my head. I'll, I'll, I'll let her... Oh my fucking god. And she... Of course she loves it. <laughs> See, the Wicked Witch has turned herself into a rodent. Um... <laughs> All right, okay, I've got to give her a song, right? And I'm, think I'm thinking making Margaret Thatcher rap at some point in the future. That's just funny. Um, I don't really know how the rap song goes, so it might be a while since I cook up anything in that department. But a travel ticket? And that's the first time we've been given one. Okay, well, I won't complain, but, um... <laughs> God. All right, um, Steve, what is it that you want? If it's a new interior, honestly, I'll give it you, because, oh. This is too generic for my Stevie boy. It has been. Also, his number one like is a Bike Forest Gateau, which a few days ago was in fact my birthday, and uh, my co-workers surprised me with a Bike Forest Gateau, which was pretty nice. Anyway, he's starving. We'll see if we can usurp it again. I'm thinking we give him some, like, American stuff. Like, what's American? Cornish pasty? Yeah, that just screams American, doesn't it? And I'm thinking we give him pizza. It's like, you better like this. If you don't mean you're gonna be on bad terms. Good. Is it better than the Peking Duck? Oh, it's better than the Peking Duck and the Gato. Okay. Okay. Well, um, hmm. You know, is there any interiors I can give you? You've already got the natural wood one. Oh. Uh, on that event, I suppose I'll just give you... You know what? I think a baseball bat's right at home for Steve, because he does have one in the show, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, no, he, um, has it in the scene of the bus. Look at me and my memory. And oh, he's given us a steel pipe. I'll make sure to drop it and wake everyone up. Now, hmm. Okay, nobody else has gone to bed, but um. Ooh. What are you all doing there? Okay. And then where's Steve? Because. Because Steve was here. I remember. I remember Steve was here. No, 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 you don't. Where's Steve gone? Okay, then we're evaluating this. Keemstar was with Wyatt. 
Those two? Okay, no, Agony Man is at the Observation Tower. Steve's at the Observation Tower. Deranged at the Observation Tower. Where's Steve? No, 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 no. Where? Where's Steve? I've just given him a baseball bat. Where is Steve? Where's Steve, you two? What have you done? What have you done? Why are you both asleep as though you've just passed out after some sort of intense activity? Like pushing a man who was fighting back over the edge of a observation tower, methinks? If he doesn't come back, I'm gonna kill those two. They didn't push Steve off the observation tower, did they? They wouldn't do that. They, they actually would, yeah, it's strange and agony, man. Um, right. Well, I'm thinking, just before we bring this to a close, I'm gonna look at some more compatibility stuff with some of the new people we've added. Now, first and foremost, I think what everyone wants to know, Pitbull and Mini Candy. The true one-two pairing of this island. What's the chance for this? Noted. Okay, not, not not guaranteed to happen, but interesting. Now, hmm. Okay, I'm thinking we just see who, like, can viably get with Margaret Thatcher. Like, something tells me if she gets an 100 out of 100, that'd be really funny. Thankfully, she's not going to date Pitbull. But will she go dating? Hmm. Who, who would Margaret Thatcher be a good fit for? Please be zero. Please, sincerely, with all my heart, be zero. Good. And can I say, that is oddly jazzy. Okay, and one final person to test. Well, you know what they say? Um... I'm not sure, are, are, are gingers statistically more likely to get together? Apparently not. And even jazzier music, okay, well. Um, that's pretty much all the people I care about getting with Margaret Thatcher being unable to get with Margaret Thatcher. If that was any higher, we were going to have problems. Well, fortunately, um, at least in any of the relationships I care about, it doesn't seem like it's likely to happen, so uh, we're safe. From the Thatcher for now. But um, I think we're gonna have to end this one here. Again, I was kinda hoping, kinda hoping we get a second little thing to happen in this episode, but it doesn't seem like it was happening, and just, yeah. Um, are there any dreams we can spy on to take us out? Okay, I saw one, and one's all we're getting, okay. Margaret Thatcher, I know I just bullied you by wishing you never fall in love on this island, but give me an interesting dream. Oh! Now there's some. Um, Oh. Oh. Well, um, and then there's a, a manhole cover. Um, I can I can make so many comments on her being dre like dressed up as a rodent for that, and falling in a manhole. But I'm pretty sure you can all just make the jokes yourselves. <laughs> right. Well, I think I am gonna end this one here just with one final look at Steve's well-being. And now you're discussing the crime, you two, okay, okay. You're both on the shit list next episode. I'm feeding you mold and you blue cheese. And um, we're just gonna cross our fingers and hope Steve survived the fall. Uh, but um, while we wait for that to happen, or come to light, um, if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It does all help and a bunch. Let's me know that you want to see more of this and all that good stuff. I'm gonna go pray for Steve's quick recovery. And until next time, with all that said and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name has been Ramek and peace out.